here we are in beautiful downtown Fort Lauderdale at the Southeast Cannabis Conference. And yes, you've heard me say this 30 times today. <laughs> and and the sky is still looks like the inside of a building to me, but I'm sure that there's Florida out there somewhere. So what is your name, sir? My name is Benjamin. I'm the Mid-Central Cannabis Business Buddy with Advanced Nutrients. Advanced Nutrients? Didn't I see those guys on Weeds? Yes, you did. We did a sponsorship with Weeds, and mainly because it was a show for cannabis, and we are a very firm believer in cannabis as a culture, as well as the way we make our products. Yes. That was a natural fit for us. So, Advanced Nutrients, besides being on a television show, is like any time that I go to a decent-sized cannabis conference, there you guys are. What do you do? I mean, you make nutrients, obviously, but what? how does that work? Well, really what we specialize in is pharmaceutical grade raw refinement in our beginning stages of our fertilizers. And we ultimately see that when we change from a solid material into a vapor material by inhalation or smoking it with a lighter, ultimately we're seeing a lot of different chemistry happen that the food industry isn't necessarily prepared for, and therefore making the food grade uh, products technically irrelevant when it comes to potentially dangerous. Can you explain that further? I'm kind of, that's, that's an interesting topic. Absolutely, it very much is. Uh, phosphorus tends to be one of these dirty agents that has these kind of heavy metals and toxic rebonds hiding in its raw refinement when dealing in food grade sourcing. So ultimately, because we know we're gonna smoke this, we go ahead and we pharmaceutically uh, grade our raw refinement rather than going the food grade, eradicating this potential harmful instance from occurring. When we were off waiting for the uh, announcement to play, you and I talked about the difference between a cultivator and a breeder. That is correct. And you call yourself a breeder. What is a marijuana breeder? We are somebody who's looking to evolve the marijuana strains uh, to direct them in a pathway that's more progressive or something that can better treat a condition in my case of study. And what are some of the traits that you look for as a breeder? I look for three out of the five traits, and they're majorly going to be weight, flavor, size, which accounts to weight, but it also can account to larfiness, so they're technically two different categories, because just because it's big doesn't mean it weighs. Ultimately, we're also looking for toxicity levels, or uh, THC counts and cannabinoid counts, and we're also looking for, is it a tall plant, short plant, how does it fit in an indoor environment or outdoor, wherever we're trying to breed this plant for usage. One of the things that I've seen in the industry, and it's kind of backed off a little bit, but there was a period of time, especially in Arizona, where uh, sativas were going out the window because everybody was looking for a, a short grow, growing session, like eight weeks and harvest. Is, uh, do you find that that is prevalent or people looking for shorter grow times? It's still common day practice and what we saw in the late 90s, early thousands was a lot of auto flowers being bred in mm -hmm. and it was basically a ruderalis strain being brought in to try and shorten the flower times of these elongated sativas. Well, unlike most of the people that we've interviewed here today, Advanced Nutrients is just about everywhere, but in case somebody didn't know, how would they look for information about Advanced Nutrients? One of my favorite spots is our website, www.advancednutrients.com or .ca if you're in Canada. It's really a fantastic place to not only find our stores, but also get raw information about the makings of our products and how clean they truly are.